Hello everyone, and welcome back to RuneScape. Before we start today's episode, I have a bit of sad news today. You see, somebody broke into my bank account, but they only stole one thing. They stole all of my freaking Wishing Well Bush Seeds that I'd been collecting for the past two years. Yes, uh, Jagex decided to get rid of them, and they figured it would be a nice compensation to give everyone one GP each for each Wishing Well Bush Seed. So after spending all that time collecting hundreds of thousands of them, all I have left to show for it is a grand exchange offer that's going to take up space, and if I withdraw it, then, um, well, goodbye to those seeds. All the ones in my bank already got converted. All I have left is this. 231k seeds that I can't take. Buy limit for four hours, negative one. But yeah, literally, I think the amount I had would have taken, like, at least a year and a half to get if I'd been buying them constantly 100 every four hours like the limit said but I wasn't buying them constantly every four hours so yeah it's really annoying that they did that with no warning because if they had at least given warning I could have at the bare minimum like for one thing like just recorded how many I had in like one nice big pile and then I could have converted them to seed mush for my player owned farm that I could have fed to like I think chinchampas eat seeds and I'm about to start farming chinchampas that would have been real nice, rather than getting 1 GP, which is basically just stealing all my effort without warning. Very annoying. And now farming is without its high-level um, reward, because, you know, that was meant to be like, oh, it's the big final thing you unlock in farming, and now that's collecting Master Farm Fragments. Great. Yeah, it's annoying that they couldn't rework it into something new. I mean, obviously the seed count would have been a problem. I think the solution would have been either to just warn people, give them at least a week to get ready for its removal, or to just leave the seeds in and have a right-click convert thing that would let you convert it either to mush or to 1GP. But uh, they didn't do that. They decided to just steal everything without warning after a couple weeks of the content not even being available. So, yeah, that's fun. But anyway, you know, enough on that sad news. Let's go ahead and get started on today's thing, which is related to uh, the update that happened. Which is, they added the mini quest list. Uh, the way it displays is uh, it's just on the quest list. It's a whole separate thing. Um, we can show you here. Uh, oh, well, not from here, apparently. But yeah, you can see we have hide mini quests. We can unhide them, and you'll get like, oh, look at all these things. Mini quests. The way they do it's a little dumb, because like you see it says spiritual enlighten, and then it's just dot dot dot. That's because they put mini quest as part of the title, so anyone where the mini quest part goes over, it just cuts it way down. So you get like, Benedict's World, when Benedict's World Tour would definitely fit. So that that's a bit of a disappointing display method there. I don't know if they'll fix it or what, but... I don't know, they should try to figure out a way to have, like, an icon that indicates mini quest or something if they don't want to have it just be listed by name. But anyway, that list did make me realize that I'd never done the Purple Cat mini quest, which is disappointing, to say the least. I thought I'd done that years ago. So we're going to do it today because I'm a bit burnt out from doing all these sagas recently, and I just want something nice and short to get done while I work on other things. Because I've been working on getting Mining 99, as you can see, where... We're well below the million XP that we were at before. I've just been working on gathering up the supplies for Masterwork Armor. Which is a nice way to train it whenever you're... Got a little bit of time. I think it's Wendy that we need to talk to, not Maggie. We'll find out, I guess. Oh, hello. Have you seen that purple cat wandering around? Why, yes, I'm quite pleased, actually. That was an experiment of mine. You can make purple cats? Well, no, but I can make cats purple. If I brought you a cat, could you make it purple? I should think so, but I'm all out of magic ungent. I'd need some more to complete the spell, but if you brought me some ungent and a cat, I can't see what could go wrong. Alright, here we go. Accept quest. So, where can I get this ungent, then? Unguent. My friend Lottie should know, we started our training together. Last I heard, she was studying in Port Serum as Betty's Apprentice. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. So, your friend should know because she has the exact same training as you, and you don't know. Alright. Um, it was Betty in Port Serum, right? I wasn't actually listening, I was too annoyed at the fact that she made us up 
crap about her not knowing to go ask someone else that shouldn't know if you don't know. I mean, obviously they will know because that's the whole mini quest, but you know, kind of silly. Also, we do have the skybox situation on here today. You can tell I've been in caves whenever I change the skybox. Alright, let's find out Betty, maybe. It wasn't Betty that we had to talk to, though, right? It was someone else. Well, there's all this stuff down here. Maybe it was Betty that we had to talk to. Um, no thanks, Betty. No, it was not her. Okay, let me see who to talk to. Um... No, Lottie is down here in the basement. I just didn't see her. Oh, she's this giant glowing thing. Okay. Bloom, I do hate Bloom sometimes. Do you know anything about magic unguent for turning cats purple? Oh, you must have been talking to Wendy. What a space cadet. She couldn't cast herself out of a paper bag. In any case, if it's unguent you want, it's the it's in the very same chest where you found Betty's wand. Oh good, I'll just get it out and... Hold it right there. You're not going to be able to open that chest until you sort out the animals again. What? But I've already put everyone where they belong. Yes, but Betty is a bit paranoid about the security of her precious possessions. After you so easily got into her chest, she decided to make it a bit more difficult to unlock. Which means that if you want that unguent, you have to put these animals back again, and this time, you'll have to move every single animal at least once. Alright, so... I guess we did this before, at some point in time, and now we gotta do it again. So basically how it works is you can move everything, but uh, how do we move it? So we got... what is that? That's a lizard. Alright, so we've got the rat in the reptile pen, the lizard in the rat pen. The spider is in the snail pen, the snail is in the spider pen, and the bat is in the bat pen. Blackbird is in the blackbird pen. So these two are correct, but we're going to have to move them. So how does this work? I don't actually remember how this functions. So you can do that. I think you can only carry one at a time, right? Oh right, you gotta put them in here. Okay, yeah, but I'm not trying to do that. What, can you only move that one out and then move everyone else around? Well, okay. I mean, that counts as moving the blackbird, so I'll take that. Okay, so we can do that, and now that'll let us move stuff around. But how do we want to move stuff around? We could take the snail and put the snail in here. And then that'll let us take the spider and move the spider into its own pen. I'm gonna try to do this without the guide, but uh, we'll see what happens. Alright, so we got the spider there, but then how do we get the snail there? I don't know. So we can put that there, and then that'll let us put you there. But what does this do for us? I mean, we could move the blackbird back, but that doesn't make anything. How do you swap stuff out? Like, if I want something other than the blackbird there, how do I do it? Is it not possible? Maybe it's not possible. Okay, so... We can get the snail in there, at least, though. I have no idea what we're trying to do here. Yeah, the bat's not very happy. I'm not very happy, honestly. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, let's see if it'll let us swap out the blackbird for the spider. Or if we're not allowed to do that. No. So, you have to do it basically just by moving something here. I am so... Uh, Alright, well, let's try to get something correct here. So, it's all about rotating things through here and then through here. So we can get the rat into the correct place, but you have to like rotate things in the right order, otherwise you're doomed. So we got a happy rat now, but we're gonna have the bat in there instead, which we don't want. And we have 
the lizard over here, which we also don't want. So we could, like, move the snail here, and then that would move the spider down here. And then we can move that up there, and then move the rat, and then... I might have to reset this and just follow the guide if this takes too long. But, uh, anyway, this month I'm going to try, and I know I've said this like 50 times, but I'm going to try very hard to do a lot of clue scrolls, and I'm talking a lot. I'm gonna have to make bank space for it, because that's part of the problem, is I've been trying to clear out bank space for the clue scrolls, and that takes a lot of time. Alright, so we can move you there. And then that'll let us move the snail over here, which does something for us, I guess. You have to, like, get everything in the perfect order, and I don't think I'm going to be able to do that without actually planning ahead. Maybe I can, though, but it's probably not going to happen. Okay, we have the snail there. And then we can pull the rat down here, maybe? And then we pull... Huh. If we do that, then we'll be stuck, and we have to move the spider there in order to accomplish anything. I was hoping I could do something with this. I don't know, I'm just trying to figure out how you can accomplish this goal. It's really annoying, the way this puzzle's set up, I won't lie. Alright, so we have the rat all the way over in the snail pen, the opposite side of where it's supposed to be now. We could move the lizard there, but we don't really want the lizard there. We want to be able to slide the guys in, in order. We have the rat there. We would need... who's that? That's the spider in that pen. Um, we can get the bat over here, and that would get... you... is that the lizard? The lizard just doesn't look much like a lizard, it's a bit annoying. Right, so yeah, if we're gonna get the lizard back into the rat pen where it was originally. Did it look like a bat for a second there? I think it looked like a bat for a second there. Alright, so now I at least can get two of them in the right one. That would be an accomplishment uh, to purposefully get two of them in the right one for once. I mean, we had two of them in the right one at the start, but you know, they were different ones in the right one. Where I've gone to all this effort for like five minutes, and all we all have done is gotten the rat and the lizard in the correct cage. But it's something. Alright, you get over here. I don't know, maybe we've done it. He might have done it, honestly. Alright, so we move the bat here. Does the bat end up over here, and then I can rotate those in? I think this might be the solution. I mean, obviously, I took, like, a very terrible route to get to the solution, but I don't know. I feel like maybe we've done it. All right. Lizard is happy. Rat is happy. Yes, we've done it. Somehow, we did it. All right, bat gets over here. Yeah, I don't always need a guide for everything. It's just a lot more frustrating without the guide. Watch me fumble around for a while until I figure out what I'm doing. Without ever putting much thought into it. That's Snail's icon. What in the world? Alright, Bat, you get in your cage now. And now, we will move this creature into its cage. Alright. It looks like everyone is in the correct place now. Perhaps I should see if I can open that chest. And it's like, no, we actually wanted you to put everything in the wrong one. It'd be a lot easier. Yes, chest, give me that unjuent. Whatever that word means. Um, what? Oh, there... I hate when they do that. Why would you want clothes as the first option? Come on. There we go. Magic unguent. Do I have to talk to you about anything? No. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna hop on over to Draenor real quick. 
But yeah, basically, for the Clue Scrolls, I'm going to get an early start on it, because I always end up putting it off way too late. And part of that was just because I was trying to work on summoning, because I had made a goal of completing summoning in March. Which I did, just barely, but, um... This month, I don't really have any major goal outside of just AFK mining until I get 99, so... This is a good month to work on it, and I really want that outfit, so... I haven't decided yet what level, like... For bank space reasons, it might be easier just to go with, like, one or two levels of Clue Scroll instead of doing four or five of them. Oh, hello. Um, I have some magic unguent for you. Oh, thank you so much. That is exactly what I need for my cat enchantments. If you ever want a cat turning purple, just bring her to me. Assuming the gender of my kitten needs. Do cats even have gender in this? I mean, obviously they do, but, like, do your pet ones? I don't think they do. Oh, hello. Let's talk about purple cats. Can you make my cat purple? Of course, just hand your cat to me so that I can take a closer look. Oh, very outdated technology here. I have to actually use an item. Could you make this cat purple for me? I can, but I should warn you, I can make cats purple, but I don't know how to change them back. It's a permanent change, is that okay? It used to not be permanent. You used to be able to turn them into a hell cat and then turn them back into a normal cat, but they got rid of that. Yes, please, my, make, please make my cat permanently purple. There you go. Oh, such a beautiful color. Thank you. And there we go. We have a purple pet kitten. We can go ahead and drop. Look at the little guy. Let's get some good lighting in here. Um, skybox, midday. Get a good look. Oh, don't stand on my cat. Get off of him. There we go. Look at him. I wish purple cats existed. I would have one. I'm not going to dye my cat purple. Wouldn't work. You know, he's a black cat, so... <laughs> Dying in purple would be quite a rough thing to do. You'd have to, like... I think how that works is you have to, like, bleach the hair and then dye it, which would be excessive for a cat. That would be animal cruelty. Also, way too much effort for a minor cosmetic. But yes, Purple Cats, they're actually pretty cool. It was a cool update when it happened. You know, this was a Halloween update that they just kept around, which they didn't keep doing for some reason. I would have loved to have seen, like, entire quest lines for holidays. Like, each year it was a sequel to Swept Away or... What was the other one? The um, Myth of the White Lands or whatever? That would have been cool. Obviously, you'd need a way to do it without doing, like, ten previous quests. So they'd have to have, like, a recap mode where you could start the quest. But uh, it would have been cool if they'd done that instead of a whole bunch of nonsense. But uh, whatever, you know. Look at my cat. He's purple. Anyway, next episode we'll probably be doing something a bit more substantial. I don't know what. We might just be doing the um, Damonheim aura because I'm definitely going to work on that. And uh, I'll see you then. Bye.